Today's mission is going to be to make these rings secure and make them even more part of that door panel than they already are. And I'm going to use some screws and some more glue and then I should be ready to lay that fleece over the top. One of the other things I plan on doing is rounding these edges off right here just a little bit because they're really sharp. So I'll knock those off with the sandpaper and uh, anything else like where some of this glue might be sticking up a little, knock that down. Basically prep work. Also going to have to make some MDF circles to go inside of here. You'll see what those are for here in a minute. And um, That's about it for now. A little smoother. It ain't going nowhere. As you can see, with the screws and the amount of glue I have on this thing it is not going anywhere it's actually pretty damn strong really sturdy so now I can go ahead and knock the heads of these screws off I'll flatten them out so they don't make a bump and then I can go ahead and do that Alright, so those fasteners are still there, but they're not going to be in the way anymore. They're just going to be quietly doing their job. So now I think it's time for a little bit of fleece. It's hard to see because it's so pure white. But after the next stage, you'll be able to see what's going on. All right, you know I had to make more circles, and uh, those things are made to go in here. So I'll put that right there, and then when I screw that down, it will take shape of the speaker until it's done being fiberglassed. So, a couple of holes here. Got the eight and the six and a half. Now it's time to make a little disc for the tweeters too. So I'll go back to that. one of the original hole saw bits I was using. But on this one, I'll go all the way through. Alright, that's what all these discs are for. And what those things do, is when these are screwed down, it pulls the material down in there with it and gives it that nice contour. Of course, you'll need to put tin foil on these or a plastic of some sort, or else you'll never get them back out of there. So that's what I'm going to do next. Like I said in the last video, the sucky part about doing this is everything you do, you get to do it twice and then the opposite direction. So here I go again.
couple of one buys. Those are going to be used to hold the tweeter pods in. There's really nothing to mount them to. So, we'll see how this works. I had enough for tonight, but I just wanted to show you real quick the progress. It looks ugly now, but it'll be getting better soon, trust me on that.